In this example, we'll demonstrate calculation, uh, lashing calculation uh, with two different uh, lashing arrangements. Separate lashing arrangement for longitudinal lashing and uh, another one for transversal lashing. Uh, so for this case, I selected one uh, 155 tons reactor. Like this. Here it is. Uh, it will be symmetric lashing. And let's select the trailer. We'll select one conventional trailer. Let's try with the 16 lines. It's too short. 20 lines, looking better, but too narrow. Let's increase the width. One and a half lines, looking fine. And uh, we'll shift it uh, aft for about one meter. Now looking better. Uh, okay. Uh, let's proceed to definition of uh, standards. Uh, DMVGL uh, road uh, standard for road transport is already ready tick, ticked. And uh, for lashing will be used the uh, standard chains for heavy trailers of about 9 tons uh, safe working load. Uh, friction between cargo and trailer is set to 0 0.4, still to rubber. Let's go ahead. So, now the first step is definition, uh, definition of uh, number of flashing points uh, I'm going to start with. <coughs> My idea, let's first uh, to do, uh, make arrangement for transfer lashing. For transfer lashing, the idea is to attach lashing at the edge at the corners of these kettles and they will add end from the corner to the edge of the trailer. As we have three uh, kettles, we will start with three lashing points. Let's see how it will end up. Okay, confirm it. And uh, let's start. X, Z here. Confirm. And Y to the edge of the picture. Okay. Here. Second one. Again, here on the same position in this view. Here it is. And the third one. Here it is. Okay. <coughs> and now, uh, lashing installation uh, bottom is enabled. As you can see here, it's stated combined. So, after the first run, we'll get results for uh, lashing for uh, that will suit. Will be calculated uh, with calculated for uh, both uh, both loads, transversal and longitudinal loads. And after this uh, run, now these bottoms are enabled, and we can change them. We'll go to transversal lashing only, and run lashing installation again. Fine. And looking fine, we got 97% of a maximum securing load, and uh, there is no need to do any further uh, correction. And we can proceed to uh, numerical results and the printing of uh, the report. Transversal. It is. Uh, as it is stated here, this is type of trailer is conventional, uh, symmetric, uh, symmetric lashing and transversal only. And now we can go back further uh, for next page. The next page is cargo, is a lashing arrangement. You can see it here. Here are the stresses, uh, angle coefficients and percentage of load uh, calculate, uh, applied in calculation. <coughs> and uh, uh, length coefficients and transversal uh, coefficients. That is, that's it. And now we can go back. We'll go back. And uh, first 
think we we'll, we'll, what we shall do is to clear all these lashing points because for longitudinal lashing we we'll, we must define completely new set of lashing points. We clean it. Okay, now it's everything is clean. And uh, my idea is to use this uh, strong trunnion for uh, lashing arrangement. Uh, it can take maybe two or three uh, lashing lashing arrangements. Uh, uh, it's very strong. It's not problem. And the upper part of each cradle. So if we come to upper part of this cradle close to the body of the, of the reactor, we shall have pretty good angle uh, angle for longitudinal uh, lashings. So let's change the number of lashing points to four and confirm it. <coughs> so let's define first one here on this trunnion X Z confirm and we will define it here. Okay. Uh, second one in this cradle. Okay and. Third one, here, and here, okay, and the fourth one, okay, okay. and confirm. <laughs> As you can see, we still have uh, uh, this uh, calculation set to for transversal lashing only, and these bottoms are still uh, disabled. We must we will run it once. Of course, it's not satisfactory because the angles are extremely bad. And uh, now we'll uh, turn change to longitudinal lashing only and click lashing installation. Here we are. Now it's looking much better, but uh, as you can see, we are 30% above the limit of the lashing, and uh, we must must increase number of, uh, of lash lashings. Let's add two additional lashing points here, number two, okay, and we shall add them all here on this trunnion. Here, okay, okay, and third one, second one, okay, here, and let's run lashing. Excellent. You see that the maximum stress is 85% <coughs> of, uh, of uh, capacity of the lashing. What uh, we can try to, uh, to do, may probably to change a little bit these, these angles and reduce uh, slightly uh, length of all these lashings. They are looking pretty very, very too long. Let's try to make them shorter. Of course, if we make them better and shorter, we shall uh, these angles will be a little bit worse, and uh, that will cause increment of uh, stress in lashing. But uh, from 85% to 100%, we have still some a certain margin, and we can play with, uh, with it. Let's uh, change lashing angles. Uh, let's try with uh, 40 degrees, for example. Run. Nine, uh, some of them of these uh, lashings are uh, nine percent, uh, nine percent overstressed. So let's change lashing angles again. Uh, let's go to thirty degrees. Lashing, fine. Now it's excellent. Ninety-three percent of maximum securing load, <coughs> and uh, there is no need for any further correction. And we can proceed to results and uh, uh, print complete report. Longitudinal, save, yes. Okay. Longitudinal lashing. Here it is. And uh, we can now exit. That's it. We got two uh, separate uh, calculations for longitudinal and for transversal lashing.